I am going to use some brown for the skin. You can choose whatever color skin you would like. But since these are people that are native of Haiti, most of the people are brown skin. And there are some that are lighter skin, depending on what area of Haiti you live. But most of the people are brown skin. So I'm going to choose brown skin for my skin color. And I'm just, I have a darker brown color, so I'm just going to go in. You don't see the top of her hands because her, I'm going to put some grass over her hands to say that she's digging in the grass, in the water, and she is going to pull out some of her, um, she's going to pull out some plants from the water. So that's why we don't see her, her hands too clearly. All right, I'm just using some dark brown. I'm going to put dark brown on her arms or her legs. Oh boy, I called that too big. That's okay. All right, on her arms and her legs. And I'm going to get some more brown. I'm going to color her face. bit of uh, water so my um, paint is getting a little bit too thick all right so we do her arm and I'm gonna do her her neck And her face. Alright, brush is kind of wonky. Alright, so we're going to use this to finish up. If you see that the skin is kind of streaky, just go over it again with the paint or you can let it dry and then go over it again so that it'll have a second coat so that it won't be streaky and you can't see the white coming through like this down here. I see the white coming through so I'm going to paint it again. And you can even get a lighter color. So I'm going to even get a little bit of um, orange and I'm going to go on the front of her just to show that some light is hitting on her her legs I'm going to go on the front of her arm on the front of her arm oh, my brush is not that great and then I'm going to go a little bit on her face like this show that there's light shining in the front of her so it's lighter so I'm gonna go a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter in her front and a little bit on her neck all right I'm gonna use that dark brown on those baskets too and I'm gonna use that dark brown on the the palm tree trunks I'm gonna go ahead and paint this. Go ahead and pick that basket. We're gonna start out with a dark color and then we're gonna paint some light a lighter color on it when it gets um, when it gets dry. It'll make it be more interesting to have the dark color underneath and then to put the lighter underneath. I mean the lighter on top. Uh oh I went too far with the brush that time. Alright, so I'm going to try to make this neat. Alright, and then I'm going to use the same brown for my palm tree. You don't have to, but I wanted to uh, show that brown palm tree. I'm going to even let it come out just a little bit because you know how it makes a triangle shape at the bottom of the tree. I'm going to do the same thing again. 
and make it come out a little bit and do that brown triangle shape. Alright, I'm going to stop it right here so the video doesn't get too, too long. Alright, so we have already gotten our palm trees in. I just went in with a dark color and I just went over the palm fronds just doing dabs up and down, up and down to make sure that I get the um, all of the areas of the palm tree. And that's all I did. I just did palm, uh, dabs. You can see that I missed the coconuts, but that's okay. I'm going to let that, well, usually let it dry. Definitely let it dry. And then I'm going to get a little bit of brown and a little bit of orange. And I'm going to make this like I have little coconuts, like dab the little, oh, I should be circle shapes. All right, so to show that we've got coconuts. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and get that light green color that I had. And I'm going to mix it with the dark green color and a little bit of white so that I can see that some stuff's growing out of my basket. I'm going to say these are the leaves from the from the rice that they've picked. And then I'm going to do that for the bottom of her feet. I'm going to say that there's some leaves here. I'm going to say that there's some grass here. Now you can go up to make it kind of pointy. I'm going to say that there's some, maybe some here, so that you can cover her hands. And then I'm going to use that same. I'm going to say that there's maybe some grass here that she's picking. That's in the, in the water. All right. All right, so now I'm going to get some red. My favorite color for the hair scarves is the red because in Haiti, a lot of the scarves are red and so I'm so used to seeing that color, but you can choose whatever color. It's whatever fabric that is available for them to use, but my personal favorite color is red and I like to go. I'm cleaning my brush off in between each wash since you both are experienced painters you know that you should clean your brush off after you use a color so that you don't mix the colors together and you get the pure color that you're trying to get all right so I'm using my brush to paint the shapes I'm using the corners to help me draw straight lines and so I'm putting this red I love red hair scarf I don't know why this bright bright red just picks up it just makes all the colors come together to me i love this bright bright red but i don't know what color you girls are going to choose because you had different um colors that you chose for your pictures i'm anxious to see what colors that you choose i think it's going to be awesome make sure that you show me your pictures after you finish them i would love to see them and you post them in class so that i can tell you how great they are. I know they're going to be awesome. All right. So I think I'm going to paint this house red. I'm going to paint this house red. And I think I'm going to paint this house orange because this is the color I had out already. I'm going to paint this house orange. And this one, maybe a darker blue. Dark blue. Alright. Alright, I'm going to 
gonna stop here and make another one. And we're back again. So I'm going to use uh, some of that light green color. Light green color. And I'm just gonna make some like little smushes on the grass to show that like it's grass and there's like little bits of stuff growing in the field. And just make like little marks and make them smaller as you go to the back. They not, need to be really small as you go to the back. And the front they can be kind of big. So it looks like this grass growing on the field. You can even put some grass that's kind of hanging into the water. That's cool too. some tops on. The tops of our houses we can add a little bit of dark brown and a little bit of white. A little brown and a little white, bright. And what we're going to do is we're going to start from the bottom of the house and go up. You're just going to pull up. You just pull up all the way in like a triangle shape. Alright. We're going to pull up until we've gotten all of the uh, points of the house. Oh, this is not showing enough. All right. All right. And now we need some black paint. Where's my black paint? I think I dropped it. some black paint. The black paint is going to help us to put a door and like a little window, like an opening. Alright, so we're going to put like a rectangle and then like a little square on the side to symbolize a window. And then a rectangle and then on the side to make a window. A rectangle and then like a little square on the side to make a window. So we've got our windows to our village. Show the places in our village. Alright, I see I left some spots open here. So I'm going to close those spots up. Alright, and for our baskets. So they won't look so plain. We can take a little bit of a green color or a white color. Whatever you want. And then we can make some lines be very light on your brush oh be very light on your brush I'm gonna make some some lines on my basket can do the same or you can do a different pattern however you like I think I'm gonna add some white over here because my green the tops of my plants are kind of getting lost so I'm just gonna add a little bit of white to the top of it just so that it wasn't it won't get lost into the picture Alright, and the last thing we need to do is we need to color their clothes. And you think of what color you want to color their clothes. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to color. Um. Not sure. Um, maybe some purple and white? Maybe some purple and white I'll try, maybe. I'll put some version of like a purplish kind of color. Very cool. 
cool. Alright. What color did you guys decide to color your your first skirt? So I colored my oh I got a little bit of a dark color on this side. There's not enough white in here. That's okay. I kinda like that. That mix of the light and the dark. Alright, I'm not pretty sure it white. I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to have to color it white. And then what color should I color her skirt? Maybe yellow. Kind of like yellow. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, I like that yellow. Alright. I'm gonna color her skirt yellow. I'm gonna try my best to cover up. Uh oh, that's blue. It's kind of showing through. I have chickens. You hear my chicken? Well, that's my rooster crowing. You'll hear the rooster crowing in the background. Alright, so we've gotten the yellow on there. Very nice. Mm, do I want to color her whole shirt? I don't know. Let's see. I think I kind of want to color her dress yellow. What do you guys think? I like the yellow. Alright. Alright, so I made like a little mistake there. If you make a mistake with your paint, just wet your brush and clear it off. And then tap on the area that you want to, just wipe up the area that you want to erase. And then wipe it off. Alright, and for her top, I kind of like her top white, but I don't know, let's see. I kind of like that white up there. So I'm going to put some, maybe I'll make her, her top like a light purple. I used purple and white. Okay, here top. Very nice. I think I'm gonna add some white to this yellow top to make it like a light yellow. So it won't be so 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 yellowy. See just like if if you do something and you don't really like it, like eh, I don't like this, you can change it. It doesn't have to stay the exact same way. So, uh, yeah, I like it better with the lighter color white. Alright, and I'm done. I think we are done. Like, I normally would outline this with the black. But if you want to leave it just like this, you absolutely can. You can leave it just like this, or you can outline it in black. I'm going to, um, I'm going to sh show another video of this image just outlined in black and white. All right, I can't wait to see yours. See you soon. All right, here is my finished piece. I thought that I was able to see the bottom of the painting when I was painting this one in the video, but when I look back at the video, this one didn't show up. But I just used a yellow color here and just added some white to this yellow to make it uh, lighter so that I could finish this piece. And I saw that the grass didn't show up as I was painting as well, but I just added dabs of grass to cover her legs, to cover her hands, to show that she was working in the water and in the grass trying to uh, get it up and here is the finished piece please show me yours i'm going to use black and white to outline mine but you don't have to you can keep it like this um i'm probably going to use a marker a thin fine point marker and to um to finish this painting all right 